Hello there, internet friends. I'm Ryan, and this is Demos in the Dark. And tonight is a first for me for this channel. Last week, I got a call from Mark and Sean over at Scythe Guitars telling me that this beautiful OH-10 was ready to roll. And they were getting ready to ship it, and I said, hey, you know what? I'll come see you. So I called my friend Brett from Everyday Guitarist Demos, one of my all-time favorites on YouTube. I will link to him up there as well as down here. And um, I said, hey, man, you want to go on a road trip? And he said, absolutely. And I packed the car up, drove down to Kansas City, ate some ribs, did some gambling, hung out with Sean and Mark over at Scythe Guitars. And here's a little recap of that. This morning, he wanted to leave in the morning, and I don't usually know what mornings look like. I don't either, but I, I, I decided I had to actually wake up for once in my life, and I decided I should actually bring somebody with me. John did a little gambling last night, but tonight we are here to uh, to look at this guitar that I came to pick up. So what we got going here is this is an OH10. Uh, this was this is what Aztec gold or short gold? That's it's a custom Aztec. What do we got? What's the body made out of? That is roasted pine. Roasted pine. And what's the benefit of using roasted pine? The weight. Uh, like... that, that's putting an offset at right at seven pounds, which you just don't get. In-house pickups. Are these the Deacon Blues, so they're a little bit hotter? They are, they are hot. Uh, that is my Deacon Blues line, so I, I make the bridge pickup a little bit hotter. I, uh, I use two different grades of magnets. So the base, um, the base strings, or wound strings rather, have uh, Almaco 5 magnets, and the treble has Almaco 2. This guitar kind of rocks. Kinda yeah, rocks. I mean, it's I, it's kind of it's kind of the prettiest guitar that I have held in my hands. Oh, for sure. I played it for like 12 seconds, and <laughs> I considered walking on it for a minute. We've talked about this in the past, and it it it, it almost feels like you guys just kind of stumbled into this. Stumbled into it mm -hmm. completely. As many luthiers, I started uh, my luthier career working in pizza. <laughs> so. <laughs> The question that I'll get a lot of times is like, why don't you just get a Fender? And it's like, and it's like, well, <laughs> if you were in this shop and saw the amount of detail and time put into each part of this instrument, you yeah. would understand. Yeah. Like I'm sitting here shooting B-roll for this, and I'm going, oh my goodness, this is mind-boggling. These guys are wizards. <laughs> Vintage 
guitars and uh, you know the the relic thing is like you take some sandpaper and uh, remove some paint here and there. Mm -hmm. This looks like an old guitar. Yeah, yeah, this the the I love the cracking in the paint mm -hmm. um, and it looks like the real thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. and so you guys you guys are basically getting vintage guitars in multiple vintage guitars in for repair and you're just like awesome. taking notes on. Yeah. 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 Something really strikes me that I've never seen before. Um, I'll take a picture of it. Yeah. Um, like on this bout, a lot of times you'll see wedding ring dings. So mm. if somebody wants to go for a more aged look, I'll make sure to that pop on a ring and and like I said, it's do details. Like that. Yeah. yeah, that's nuts. That's unreal. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, somebody wants it to look like it's been lit on fire. I'll light a guitar on fire. <laughs> Can we shoot that fire. today? <laughs> uh, do we have anything to look? I mean, we might be able to burn something. <laughs> I'll find something. Like I said, I mean, is for me, like even just actually, like not just being for the camera, like it's the details here. Like I'm watching you guys work, and I'm like going, "That's crazy." And I mean, you can go walk into one of the custom shop and see that, and it's going to be similar. But like, there's something about the details that are happening here. I think that is big. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm taking away from it all. We choose a, the wood. We choose it based off of weight. What we think the final weight's going to come out to with all the hardware on that. Um, we choose whether or not we want to use like a tempered, a tempered body, um, something, something else like maybe, um, you know, we want to do a different radius other than a nine five. We get to hand pick that. We do all of our own fret work, um, everything, like all, all finished sanding details, like all of this stuff that we do is, uh, we're not just slapping things together. You know, we're, we're taking the time to make it feel right. It, it can, anything can look old from uh, from across the room. You get up on it and you pick it up. It might it'll probably feel like a new guitar. Yeah. So we make that. We just get rid of all of that. We wear everything down the best that we can uh, to make it feel like it's been played for countless, countless hours for years and years and years. So we are leaving Kansas City, heading back up north. I thought that was a good trip. Yeah, I mean, I'm very full of barbecue and that's pretty much it. I will go ahead and say that LC's barbecue was the best ribs yeah. I've ever had in my entire life. That's unquestionable. So I was really pleased with being able to introduce you to like two of my favorite human beings on the planet and have you guys like hit it off and have you just kind of experience it the way that I've experienced um, my time with those guys. Um, just think, super good dudes. They were fun to hang out with. And I mean, watching them work was honestly eye-opening and also just a pleasure. Like people who are super fun to hang out with, but also just very serious about doing good work. I sat there and watched them for 45 minutes just in a neck pocket, just going like this, little bits and pieces at a time. Yeah. And it's watching them, they're not just building guitars, they're building guitars correctly. Yeah. They're doing it right. Yeah. They're not going to ship something out because it's done, they're going to ship it out because it was done right. They haven't made their best guitar yet. Yeah, no, I mean, I, how many times did they say while we were there, each one's getting better. Yeah. It's always getting better. Yeah. Every single time. This one's better than the next, and this one's yeah. better than the next, and yeah. they're just going to continue to be making amazing guitars. And it's not that they're bad right now. They're ridiculously good. Yeah. <laughs> and they're just, they, they're, they're always striving for being better constantly.